Good morning, St. Thomas, and welcome to worship on this fine Sunday morning. This morning, we're going, I'm going to invite you to do something a little special, and we're going to try having communion together for the first time since we've stopped meeting in person. So I invite you to take this time at the beginning of the service to gather some elements together if you haven't already. Now, I know that some of you may not have bread like this and wine in your house, and that's perfectly okay. The rubrics for communion say that all you need is staple food and festive drink. So any kind of drink that you enjoy is perfectly acceptable. Wine if you have it, but also juice or beer, or even milk or water, anything that you enjoy. And any kind of staple food, so bread if you have it, but also crackers or anything like that. It's not important, as long as it's something that you can eat and drink and feel Christ's presence. You can gather those items now or uh, in the middle of the service when it's time to have communion. The nice thing about being on tape is that you can always just hit the pause button. But I hope that you'll join me in this important ritual so that we can find Christ's presence in our life together, even if we're physically separated. At this time, I'd like you to join me in praying our prayer of the day. Let us pray. O oh God, your Son makes himself known to all his disciples in the breaking of the bread. Open the eyes of our faith, that we may see him in his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 